Welcome to the weather overview for April. I'm Ian Mills and I work at UMITSAT. So generally speaking, at the start of the month, we had uh, quite a bit of high pressure. The high pressure brought dust up from the Sahara and air quality over the southeast of the UK uh, was extremely poor for a while. You can see the clear skies across most of Europe where the high pressure was and the uh, fronts to the west of the UK uh, bringing some weather in there. In the Mediterranean now, near the Balearic Islands, there's quite a lot of sea fog. And this lingered for a few days under the influence of the high pressure. You can see it moving across towards uh, Corsica and Sardinia. Showers flowing down the North Sea into Holland and Germany. We've now got high pressure building over France once again and the main thrust of the weather is over to the east of Europe with showers coming down into the North Sea and spreading down uh, to the south. Storms breaking out now over the Iberian Peninsula. Quite a lot of thundery activity there over the couple of days. And on the 11th, if you look at the north of Italy, we can see some sea breeze causing the nice line of cloud down the centre of Italy there. What we're looking at here is the cyan colour, is the ice cloud. And we can also see ice on the ground coming out in cyan. For example, the snow lying on the Alps still and on the Pyrenees and across Norway. On the 14th, we've got some very cold air coming down the North Sea, driving showers into Germany and further down into Switzerland and Austria.
with high pressure to the west of this cold outbreak. You can see beautiful clear skies over the UK and France and some thunderstorms popping off just on the north coast of Spain. High pressure is continuing to build. We can see it in the Gulf of Bothnia. There's still some sea ice, but it's diminishing rapidly. To the west of Europe now, we've got large amounts of low cloud with fog along the north coast of Spain. And a little disturbance coming up across Greece and uh, Italy. Once again, this repeating pattern of the cold air plunging down the North Sea. The cold front you can see coming across uh, Switzerland and Austria, with the cold air behind it giving quite heavy showers over Germany. On the 21st over central Turkey we can see during the morning some shower clouds developing and as we go through the day the heat of the day generates some quite big thunderstorms which you can just see before the sun sets. So at this time of year, the winter storms have passed, so most of the lows aren't quite as deep as they have been during the winter, but we still haven't really got the heat and energy to produce the summer storms. To the west now, we can see a cold front just coming up towards the southwest of Ireland, with some quite strong showers tucked in behind it. If we look out into the Atlantic now, we can see a swirl of cloud and that's going to develop as it moves in towards southwest UK. And on the 26th, you can see quite a strong circulation as it passes the southwest of Ireland. On the 27th, we can see that that storm tracking up the English Channel and high pressure once again building over the east of Europe, giving us some good clear skies over there. To the west of Portugal, there's a large area of low cloud and in it you can see some lines. These are ship trails. Ship trails are caused when ship's exhaust is expelled into the lower part of the atmosphere. The lower atmosphere is quite moist and the little particles of the exhaust are just enough to cause cloud to form around them. And so you can see these enhanced lines of cloud. Generally, April was dominated by high pressure, and this meant that in several countries they had reported uh, above average temperatures for a good part of the month. 